hands up, don't shoot me in no wild, wild west. Stay no cool monkey. If hate is the new love, so that's what we make it. And that case, I hope everybody hate this side. Can't breathe. Hands up, don't shoot me in no wild, wild west. Stay no cool monkey. Said I can't breathe. Hands up, don't shoot me in no wild, wild west. Stay no cool monkey. Breathe. I for real can't breathe out here. <laughs> Alright, so But it's not the skin problem, just a sand problem. Christ take the wheel out there, you can solve them. My boys in the hood need some inspiration. The last thing we all need is more hatred. And to get into games, you got to break spines. By the time you're nine, you're low in your first time. Thinking you were mad cause you put one on the stretch yard. And them cops poor wishing you was living back up. Back on the block, shot the cop, now you laughing. Hard when you roll, model super, know they rapping. Wasn't what they're feeding us, always up in the media. Put their eyes around it, never telling the truth. They're both sides of wrong, and lies have no use. We need to love to respect, so you do it then. Respect. All right, we are live right here at KAZ Radio, Cleveland's online inspiration station. And today in the studio with me, I have none other than my main man, Rob Nor. How you doing, my man? That's good. That's Life good. is treating you okay? Yeah. yeah I'm man, I'm man, you know, I'm excited to have you on KAZ because you know what? You are probably my first, my first Christian rapper. Wow. That bring in it. Bring it to KZ. You know, you, I'm you know. History, guys. Hey, man, you you have made history right here on KAZ. So, Rob Nord, this is how I do my interviews. It's real simple. All right. Tell me, how did you come to know Jesus Christ? Okay. So, like, testimony, man. Your testimony. Okay. Time. So, <clears throat> I was, so I grew up, my mom, me, my little sister, dad wasn't in my life. Um, Moved around a lot, lived with family. So I mean, I didn't really have a have a male figure to look up to. So um, I would look up to people like rappers. Like I remember looking up to T.I. a lot, Kanye, a lot of just people who I thought was cool and what was around me. So by the time I was nine years old, we were living in uh, off 102nd in Clifton. And it's like, that's probably like the most dangerous neighborhood I've lived in. I remember there, I was nine years old, you know, smoking weed, nine years old. So, uh, you know, that was that was something. And then later on, I just like, you know, I was going with the flow, trying to, I was being bad at school, trying to impress friends, doing all the goofy little kid stuff that I thought was cool. So by the time I was 13, I went to uh, Youth for Christ, YFC City Mission, right. it was on East 55th and Carnegie. Um, Johnny Fine, shout out to Johnny Fine. He, he gave his testimony and he, uh, it really touched me. And I was like, you know, I know about Jesus. I go to church, but am I ready to live my life for him? It's like at that moment, I, I decided, you know, I'm gonna live. Wow. So man, you was you was in the streets on Clifton at the age of nine. <laughs> I was trying. I was, he was trying to be I in was, the streets. I thought I was. Oh yeah, you thought you was rolling with the big dog. I thought I was. Yeah. Oh man, that, that's crazy. Now, how old are you now? Fifteen. 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 And so you've learned a lot from from being exposed to that type of environment. But tell me this, can you connect the dots, man? How did you go from you know being in the streets, getting saved, to becoming a, an artist? Okay, so I mean, I always wanted to, like, I always want to do something that's artsy, always. Like, my mom told me that when I was younger, like, I would just be babbling and it would run. Like, she, she, she dead serious when she tell me that, so I just went with it. But I didn't start rapping until, like, I want to say seventh grade. But, okay, so I met Christ, right, at 13 years old. Christ made me where I was at. I got saved. And then I went to this summer, summer camp, uh, the summer of 2013, I think. Yeah summer 2013 and we were doing at the church at the summer camp it was all about talents like what our talents were that God gave us and um I was like okay so what am I good at I was like okay I rap so I met Ronnie Knight shout out to Ronnie Knight and uh Ronnie Knight me and my other friend Louie we put together a little mixtape like 13 songs quality was terrible we recorded on the on a laptop and uh, a headset from Family Dollar. And it was crazy part is I had 13 songs, wow. but only two songs were actually ours. Like right. we just put other artists' tracks on there to right, get the exposure. Right. But yeah, we only had two songs that were actually ours. You couldn't hear what we were saying, but it, to me, I felt like I was Jay Z. That was your first. That was your first mixtape. Yeah. Wow. It was and called. It was called Rob the Mike. Now, now, did you sell them or did you give them away? I, I, it was a little bit of both. It was more like a love offering. Like if you really support me, then right. Five. Right. So. so, 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 so now I hear you know. That you're in a studio, 
And in the background, we got some, we got this hot mix playing, uh, Youngins, man. How did Youngins come about? Did you write Youngins? Yes, yes, I did. I write all my music. Um, well, actually, I can't say that God writes my music. Um, but uh, Youngins, with Youngins, I, I, I mean, if you take a look around my generation today, yeah, I mean, we're, we're so caught up in... In, in the media and what the media feeds us, we we get we can hear about something on Twitter before we hear about it on the news. Cause we don't even like we're not even on TV. Like if we are, we're watching some drama. But it's like so so when it talks about youngins, just talking about how my generation now we're just so caught up in everything else and we're almost willing to die for that. Like what would you do if if your iPhone got taken away and all iPhones like Apple stops on the iPhone or if all everything just stopped being produced and you're just there with no technology and it's like you'd almost die for that you, you're scavenging it, it, it could go from um, technology to right sure yeah right especially take away the iphone right well hey let my audience hear a little bit of this track and right. we'll get right back to interviewing you how's that yeah, that's right what you think I'm rapping for? Homie, this is God's magic. What you think I'm laughing for? Cause you steady lip smacking when you know Christ real, recognize real up. So go ahead, put that burner to my head, then pull the trigger. But I die for my God, we go deeper than the mob. Not rolling, throw it on this unashamed as a young. But I die for my God, we go deeper than the mob. Not rolling, throw it on this unashamed as a young. That's hot, man. That's hot. Thank you. My man Mars made the beat. You know, he's, he's a beast for the production. Man, shoot me. He, man, shoot me. He, he's like Einstein when it comes to the beats, man. You know, he the, he's the man. So tell me um, what happened with the friends that you had. Are you still cool with them or did you have to, you know, like Snoop saw, like like Snoop said, you know, there's a gap now. You know, there's a gap between where he was and where he's at now. Uh, I would say it's a mix, honestly. I mean, I when I first got saved, I I didn't, you know, I accepted Christ as my savior. It's one thing to have Christ as your savior. It's one thing to have Christ as your Lord. So I'm still trying to, I'm still building to have Him as my Lord to have control over my life. So it's like at that time, you know, I I like. I still was dabbling in it. I still was, you know, trying to feel it, but I also could feel God pulling me away from it. So I mean, with friends, yeah, I, I really everybody on Hunter and Clifton. I don't, I don't know anymore. But actually, today I just came from the IX Center and I met one of my good friends that I used to go to elementary school with and middle school with, and he's on some other stuff. He, he you know, he's wilding out at high school that he's at now. And uh, but it was good seeing him. So I mean, like, if I if I am in a relationship with those people still, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely helping them and not. Hurting, right? You know, right. So, how were you able to kick the weed? Well, I mean, I wasn't necessarily. Well, you mean like get it or or just get rid of get rid of it out of your life? Yeah. Um. Well, I wasn't. I wouldn't say I was smoking it daily. I would smoke. I would. I would only smoke if somebody else was had it. it. Right. So I wasn't. You know, I was never that bold to to go out purchase or do anything like that. But I mean, I remember when I was with my friends. So yeah, it wasn't really. So I mean, so was it? Really? I mean, I, I mean, was it like a young person? Let, let me let me understand. Was it just a rebellion? Do you know what I'm talking about, or was it just curiosity, or what? At, at that young age, you know, what Nine were you? Years old. Uh, I feel like it was it was more like, oh, so this is what the people I'm looking up to do. This is what mm. it feels like to be them. Wow. It was wow. more like That's that. Deep. That's it was, deep. It was more like that, and I guess it, I guess you say it was a rebellion also. Cause I didn't feel like hearing what my mom had to say, right? Or yeah, it was a mix of everything you just said, but yeah, a mix of everything. And and so God now plays a obviously, an awesome role in your life. Mm-hmm. Um, and that relationship with Him, how has it? How have have you proven Him? I mean, have you have you proven that He's real to this fifteen year old? Yes, I mean, He's He's proven Himself in a lot of ways. Uh, He's put me through, and he's put me in situations that, like, that just, that just, that just let me know, like, you know, I'm here. There's been times where I truly would sit in my room until like two in the morning, wondering if this is real or right. if what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, there's definitely been times. And also, I remember doing a show downtown in Public Square, and uh, this man came up to me, asked me, "Is it real?" Like, mm. what do you mean? It's like, is what you're talking about real? I'm like, most definitely. So I know, just, just having that simple. 
two sentence conversation, right? You know, prove something. So. Now, now you know the one thing that I, 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 I believe, and I believe stars are born. There's something about a person that God has put in them to represent Him, and do you have that? Do, do you have that? Do you, I mean, have we? Because you're young, so it, I'm thinking you got that it. Do you think you have that it? Yes. I mean, I don't know why I would say no. Right, right, right. It would <laughs> be here, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> right, you know what I'm right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I right. mean, most definitely. I, 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 like, me and my friends, even if we fall out, I know that we all have attributes of God. Yeah. Like, you know, we are not God, of course, but God gives us attributes. Like, I, I know for myself, I, I, like, I like to listen to people. You know, I like to talk also. But when it comes to, like, people having to tell me their issues, I like to listen and understand rather than just... Speak my mind. You know, I want to be that person to listen if you need somebody to listen. Amen. You know? Amen. So now, there's a track uh, on your uh, CD called CLE. Matter of fact, uh, playing that in the background. Tell me how that yeah, came yeah. about. Yep. Um, it was more like a it was more like a reassurance for myself that Christ leads everything. That's what it stands for. It's actually an acronym. It's kind of like a double entendre. CLE meaning Christ leads everything, and CLE also representing where I'm from, Cleveland. So, I like that. So, uh, yeah, Christ leads everything. Yeah, that's <laughs> CLE. Oh, you want to um, sing it? You want to sing it? Go ahead. I mean, you want me to rap a verse? Yeah, you, you, you started it off. I started from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, you can, if you could turn it down and I could just rap a verse, I could fill it from it. Okay, all right, hold on. All right. <laughs> let, me start from, let me start it from the beginning. All right. Ready? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I like this song though. This song we uh one of my one of my good friends back at Newbridge, shout out to Newbridge Academy, he he made this beat for me. Check, check, check. Yeah, he made this beat. Alante. Call him I call him Juice. J U I. What happened here? I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Technical difficulty, like the volume went crazy high on everything. All right, you ready? Yeah, I, I can rap the verse. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. All right. These lyrics pack more heat than the Uzi with an extendo. Ain't that every demon who tries to control my mental? Hold on, hold on. No, we gotta make you sound good. We are <laughs> not gonna allow. I don't know what happened, but we're not gonna allow you to go out there sounding like that. <laughs> All right, I'll respect All right folks. Uh, this is the engineer. And I don't know what I did that caused everything to go so high in volume, but we're going to get corrected, and we're going to be right back. Let's watch a video while we get the sound corrected, okay? We'll be right back. Gotcha. Why does it feel like 92 LA riots is everywhere? Cause we think we pull it proof. It's the colors, catch your colors, never trust the system. Pop, pop, your ghost, and now the rent is a victim. Now everybody gonna wanna cause hell. Another man got shot, or going into jail. And to many people, it's a white man's world. I think Jermaine put it best, we live in the cold world. Black, Asian, Puerto Rican, and Indian, and Rick. It doesn't matter as long as you come to him. You feel the insecurity with Vez Roba. Contradiction, but not no lie. That's why spitting the youth sound like a fragile napkin. Put me in a bag and stop making reactions. That can cause the fact if we're doing the right way. We can cause the fact this they backs to the nose around their necks again. They wonder why they never get rejected. Minorities, the majority, yo, is getting neglected. I can't breathe, there's a don't shoot me. Ain't no wild, wild west, ain't no cool moly. Said I can't breathe, there's a don't shoot me. Ain't no wild, wild west, ain't no cool moly. Three. But it's not the skin problem, just a skin problem. Christ, take the wheel, I think you can solve them. My boys in the hood need some inspiration. The last thing we all need is more hatred. Once you get into games, you got to break the bars. By the time you're nine, you're low in your right. first time. Okay. Inspiration Station. We're back live. We got that sound fixed, I do believe. All right, my main man. No, that's good. It was all right now. 
I don't know what happened, but we're back live. Okay? Same plot on us. That's hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, just blame it on him. You know, yeah. if anybody else. <laughs> okay. It could just be the engineer, but uh, <laughs> I'll blame the devil for that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right. All right, I'm good. Yeah. All right. These lyrics pack more heat than the Uzi with an extendo Aimed at every demon who tries to control my mental I constantly fall a victim of being one caught slipping I try not to listen to what Lucifer was whispering It's an uphill battle, us against the world Water is never shallow, it's making my lips curl Go grab your Bibles, honestly it's our rifles Equip with scripture, got me seeing the bigger picture The bigger battle, we gonna get knocked off our saddle We need to find a platform for our ministry Hip hop was a picture that I seen vividly I'm not Dre, Jigger, Ice Cube, Pac, Big, Easy, E, Cole, Kendrick, or Rock Kim, you never see my kind, we the soft spoken soldiers, game picking at us like vultures. They glorify the bling, but they know Christ leads everything. So yeah. That's Amazing, man. That's cool. Thank that's you. That's real nice. That's Thank real you. nice. God is good. God is real good. Well, I tell you what. Um, let's talk about one more of your tracks. Number seven. It was a book I think we all had to read in high school. <laughs> War and Peace. War and Peace. One Piece, I feel like, well, okay, so around the corner from where I stay, I stay on West Boulevard. Okay. And uh, around the corner from where I stay is is uh, is Cadell. All right. Cadell Rec Center. And okay. if if anybody knows what happens there, Tamir Rice got shot there. Oh, wow. So it's like, so, and also one of my good friends, that was his cousin. So, I mean, a lot of that, that kind of impacted me in several ways because it's not only where I live, but I know people who are impacted by it. And even other civil injustices that were happening around the country at that time, you had, uh, you had Trayvon Martin a couple years before that, Mike Brown, uh, what was it? Eric right. Eric Gardner, Eric right, Gardner, right. Eric and it's Gardner, like so right. we, that that track just came out of frustration. You know, me as a young right. black Puerto Rican male right. from Cleveland, Ohio, things could get just you know tense. And it's like you know, I made that track. Me and Mar sat down and talked about you know topics and what we should talk about, and this is, just came out of it, out of pure just venting, I guess you could say. I feel like it, it was it wasn't it, it, it wasn't a lost cause either. Right. I feel like you really now, now as a young man, how, how do you feel about I mean the police. The police. Yeah. Well I actually have family members who are police members, who are police officers. So I mean I know them as, as family before I knew them as anything else. So I mean but like on the outside looking in, I could say that as of right now, I know for a fact that all police officers are not crooked. Right. Just like how all black people aren't criminals, right. so I mean exactly. it, it's like so I know that they're I, I'm I'm that smart I guess right. you could say, but it's like as a young man I could feel the tension. I remember being in certain places and just getting sideways looks from police officers because of the way I look or just because of the way I'm dressing or maybe I'm hanging with too many people that look like me. I don't know, just certain things. I, I may make those assumptions in my head possibly, right. Right. but it's like you know I could feel the tension. Sometimes. So 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 do you feel? Um, Concern for the other brothers out there that that don't have God and is dying every day. I mean, how, what do you tell them, or do you tell them anything? What camera? Am I looking at this one. Camera? That's what I'm gonna tell you. No, no, for real, but like, if you're a young man, especially a colored man in America right now, and you're just you don't have God, and you, maybe you don't like God. Maybe you, have, or maybe you just don't believe in God, that's fine. God's going to lead you wherever you need to be But I feel like you need to really just have an open mind and keep that open. I feel like if a police officer or anybody of authority, we, my generation just doesn't like authority. We just don't like authority in general. So especially a police officer who has a gun, you know what I'm saying? We, we need to ultimately have respect. But also, if we are disrespected, I feel like there is a call for fighting back. It may not be physical, but I feel like we do need to stand our ground if we are disrespected. Well, how do you, you know, it's interesting you say that. How, how do you stand your, I don't know what's wrong. How do you stand your ground? I mean, what do you do? Um, I mean, you, you don't really stand your ground when a policeman is, is right. you, yeah. you know, but yeah. there is legal ways to right. to come back. I mean, a big part for me, I can, I can speak for myself, I do it through music. I do mine through music, and I mean, uh, we could look at Dr. King and, like, just other people right. that we, that we, that have done this and succeeded, you know, like we could do this peacefully through music or through whatever, like especially in the urban culture, the black and, and Hispanic culture, music is huge. Like music, I mean, in all cultures, but we are really, we are really joined together by music. So rap is a way to communicate to the world what's going on. Okay, well, man, you know, I know you've got some great things coming up. Why don't you share them? With your audience, uh, where are you going to be in the next few days and weeks to come? Okay, so tomorrow, 
I have a show at New Dimension Church. It's on Broadway on the west side. Actually, I can give you the actual broad view, not Broadway, broad okay. view. I can actually give you the guys the actual uh, address real fast. And also, while I'm getting this address up, I have a show at the IAC Center on April 10th. Okay. So my phone is acting up. It's not letting me do that. Okay. So I can't. So, so, so wait, wait, wait. No, we'll get it. It's New Dimension Church. New Dimension Church. On on the west side of town? On the west side. On the west side of town. And also the IAC. So when are, when is, that's tomorrow at New that's Dimension? tomorrow, yeah. Doors open at 730. Okay, and it's going to be you and other artists uh, performing. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I know. Yeah, me and other artists. Yeah, and they're also going to have a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. So okay. it's five dollars for children, eight dollars for adults. Okay. Now, if someone wants to get in contact with you, want to invite you out to our church or or to a festival or something, how do we? Who's the management company we call? Who do we kind of? How do we contact you? Contact how does that work? The OG Mars. Uh, OJ. The OG DJ Mars. Mars. Yeah. Gotcha. Contact them. Uh, Mars at SoundLabENT.com. SoundLabs. Soundlab ENT. ENT dot com. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Four four zero. I don't know what he's telling me. That. Oh, his number. Four four zero three eight one four nine zero one. That's his phone number. But you know what? Let me tell you something about internet radio. They just say go to Facebook and look up. Go to Facebook and look up. Lamar. Yeah, Lamar. Yeah, Lamar is, is right. Yeah. Or go to Facebook and look up yeah. Sound Labs. Or uh, Google Sound Labs, it's gonna pop up, right. man. And follow me on you social know. media. All social media at Rob North Speaks. Okay, I will follow back most time. Okay. Now, <laughs> now, one last question. We got a few more minutes. Okay. Um, is your family supportive? Yeah, actually, yeah. My mom is very supportive. Sometimes I feel like she's too supportive. If that makes sense. Okay. Okay. But uh, no, nah, she's very supportive. She she likes what I'm doing. So does my little sister. My little sister knows every word to every song. Every song. So she can come behind you and yeah. sing backup if if and need be. And that's been that's been recommended to me several times. I'm sometimes it, it, just, it may be hot. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It, so I'm testing. I'm gonna test that out pretty soon, though. And 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 also now, what church do you guys belong to? Uh, Scranton Road Bible Church. Scranton Road Bible Church. Pastor Joe shouts out to Pastor Joe, Pastor Che, Pastor Deloy, you know, all of them. Amen. Well, man, you know, uh, uh, Rob Noy, you, you you seem to me to be a very fine young man, very fine individual, and I know I wish you tons of success in your pursuit to be an artist, and uh, when you start making millions of dollars, remember KAC Radio, <laughs> and yeah. give us a shout out once in a while, yeah. uh, because that's what we do here, we help independent artists uh, get out there, and I pray that this this uh, program helps to do just that for you and in your career. Right. And what high school? Horizon Science Academy, actually right across the, the way from right here. Oh, okay. Horizon Science Academy. Oh, yeah, with the big, yeah. the big dome. The big yeah. dome, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, I, uh, uh, is it Darlene Clink Scales? Yeah, I don't, I don't know yeah. She, she's a friend of mine. She's a teacher there. At least oh. she was a teacher there. Okay. Well, I just want to close out. You want to say any last words to those that want to, that want to be what do what you're doing? What last words do you have for them? The boy I got, I got. Keep God in your life. Number one. That sounds super cliche, but once God shows you, definitely, definitely keep it there. Get up and keep it that way. And also have some time to listen, sit down, and be organized be organized and then trust in trust in people who you feel like you need to trust into. Ultimately just pray. That's all I can say. Just pray. Amen. Amen. Well, and work hey, and grind. <laughs> well man, like I like to say, I love you. Jesus loves you. Thank you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Then, homie, I ain't feeling it. Boy, be yourself. Stop looking like a chameleon. Every young person just trying to make a million. We all got dreams, but don't know how to deal with it. Ain't nobody trying to show us love. Don't nobody want to see us grow. My God represent peace like a dove. Because of this, you want to see me fold. Is it because I'm young and trying to follow Christ? You want to...